If you think zucchini to be bland, tasteless, boring and what not, then this recipe will totally change your mind. Today it is all about making the crispiest and yummiest zucchinis. Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bombi. Let's start by prepping the zucchini. Though I am using a mandolin, you can even use a knife. Slice the zucchinis into about one fourth of an inch of thickness. Add a sprinkle of salt and mix very well. Adding salt brings out the extra moisture from the zucchini, resulting in a crispy and crunchy outer coating when fried. Lay out the slices in a colander for about 15 minutes and let the salt do the magic. Coming to the batter, I have taken gram flour which is also known as besan. Besan is available at any Indian grocery store or you can even get it online. You can even substitute besan for chickpea flour which is also available as garbanzo bean flour at some stores. To this I added cornstarch or corn flour depending on which part of the world you are in and how you may want to call it. Cornstarch makes the coating crispy but do not add too much as that will make the coating hard. Add some salt then turmeric powder to get that beautiful golden color and a little bit of red chili powder. Not that you have to add it but because I personally love that touch of heat. Finally, I like to add baking powder as it makes the coating light and fluffy. Whenever you are using gram flour, always sift it like this to get rid of any lumps. Now you must be thinking, ok Bumbi, I will buy a bag of gram flour, but what will I do with the rest? Keep it in an airtight container and I have many pakora recipes on my channel where I have used gram flour. Now add water a little at a time to bring everything together. If you add a lot of water in the beginning, then it will be very hard to get a smooth batter and you will keep on wondering why everything is not coming together. Your batter should not be too thin nor too thick. So though I used one third of a cup of water, you may need less or maybe more. Use a whisk to mix everything very well and incorporate air into the batter. You will know the batter has reached the right consistency when it will be able to coat the back of a spoon like this. Ok, so after 15 minutes, the zucchinis have rendered out a lot of water as you can see. Take a clean cloth or a paper towel and wipe off the excess water from the surface. We are doing all this to get a crispy coating because moisture is the enemy when it comes to frying almost anything. Now it's frying time. Heat some oil in a pan. Take a piece of zucchini. Dust it lightly with some gram flour. Again, you are doing this so that the flour soaks up any residual moisture and prevents the outer coating from getting soggy. Then dip it in that gorgeous batter and gently place it in the hot oil. If you are scared of working with hot oil, then please use a pair of tongs. The temperature of the oil is very important here. If your oil is too hot, then the surface will brown up too soon. Again, if your oil is not hot enough, then you will end up getting a very oily coating. So when you think your oil is hot enough, Always add a little bit of batter to the oil before adding the zucchini. If you see it getting too brown immediately after adding to the oil, then you need to bring down the temperature of the oil. Fry them on medium heat till they turn golden brown on both the sides. They have this very crunchy exterior and the gram flour when fried has its own unique nutty kind of flavor. Then when you bite onto it, 
You are greeted with this buttery, soft zucchini that melts in your mouth. I'm telling you my friends, these are irresistibly delicious and it is amazing how the zucchini gets totally transformed into something that tastes so divine. Please smash that like button if you've enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.